Preseason week two allows us to see our first bit of action of Tua in 2024. He played one drive and went five for five passing with one touchdown. And in this video, we are going to break down each of the five passing plays that Tua had. All right, here is the first of the five throws we're going to look at from Tua from this previous preseason game. This is the same play that I talked about in my top five ways to uh, throw off a defense video, but it's just out of a different look. You're going to send this Julian Hill here in motion onto a wheel. River Craycraft is going to do that kind of glance sit in between the defense. And you're going to have Alec Ingold come out to the flat here. And it's an RPO look. So you're having a running back taking an inside zone possibility. The main thing that gets red here, at least from what I believe two is red, two are red, is these two linebackers. They both sat and they both sat in the middle of the field preparing to come up and stop this run. So what two decides to do instead is just hit Craycraft over the middle of the field in this window here that they leave, and it picks up 16 yards on the, on the first play of the drive and the first pass for Tua. All right, second pass for Tua. This one is, again, Miami loves using motions, and motion is showing off here. John New Smith is lined up kind of where Tyreek Hill can be lined up as well. He's going to motion across and do across and do the wheel to what hits it this time. Still have Craycraft doing kind of that sit touch glance over the middle. But the right side of the formation is another aspect of it, kind of like a, set, a third, fourth read. Malik Washington's in the slot. He's going to do a crosser over the middle, and then Barrios on the outside going to do a deep post with Moser taking the check down in the flat. This idea is to get the play moving to the right. First two reads are to Craycraft and John Drew Smith. In this area, the same thing Miami loves to do that they did in the previous play. And then if those aren't there, because most likely like the corner or the safety would step, it would be stepping up into those range. You then have the mid, yeah, then have the back, but you have behind them for both at the crosser and the post. And again, Miami loves the idea of quick passes that are really, really good for runs after the catch. And this is another good example of one of those, much like the first play. But yeah, it's just this concept of a wheel and some kind of in-breaking in, in route. Miami uses a lot and is really effective because Tua knows how to process defenses really effectively. The third play here is less about kind of actual play design and what went into it and more just about how important having a guy like John U. Smith is going to be for Miami this year. He is lined up right here and kind of in the slot-ish from this bunch on the outside. And this is going to be a jet touch pass to round out the outside here. Jet is the motion, meaning a horizontal motion going in front of the quarterback. So two at times as well, gets the snap, touches the pass to Johnny Smith, and then he takes it and rounds this corner and picks up extra yards. Johnny Smith was a massive pickup that not a lot of people talk about talk about for Miami. And it's plays like this that kind of show it the best. It's, he's a very versatile check down option and other receiving option for McDaniel to use. The other thing I really like about this play is if you pay attention to this edge rusher, he just gets completely lost right here. Even after John Smith ran past him, he's still, he's still seeming like he's trying to go after what he believed was an inside zone handoff. This play just worked really well, and again, it just showcases the versatility of John U. Smith. All right, here is the fourth throw to a completed from this game. And really, it's just a good showcase of kind of why you want someone who can throw from any arm angle and kind of have a little more, I don't say mobility, but just more, more awareness, I guess you can say. It's going to be a play action to the left side here. And when it comes to the route tree, you're going to have 
this tight end Durham Smythe go in motion to kind of pretend to be a lead blocker for the fake. And that's where you get Malik Washington doing a deep corner. You have Craycraft going a crosser. And then you have Julian Hill doing a block and release route to the flat. That's where Tua ends up going because as he rolls out, Julian Hill is going to release from his block and Tua makes a really nice sidearm throw to him for a nice pickup. Not a lot really is like being showcased when it comes to like genius play calling. This is a kind of a very common levels concept where, again, the check down option, so it's three, and kind of either like one or two, you kind of go back and forth between those. But it's it's levels concept. And levels essentially, the levels to it, high, medium, and low. And Tua does a good job getting the ball out in time, throwing with a different arm angle, and picking up a good chunk of yards for Miami. All right, here is the singular touchdown from this game and is also to his fifth and final completion. He went five for five. He played incredible, like I mentioned and everything. Here is the touchdown pass. So the ball is going to be thrown to the right side with, with Ray for Craycraft. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the left side of this play. This is also done really well. Barrios is in the slot. He's going to do a sit over the middle. League of Washington on the outside is going to do a deep crosser. Kind of like at the goal line here. So kind of a back shoulder in. And then you're going to have both John U. Smith and Raheem Moser doing almost swing routes to this outside. And the idea is if the ball is thrown to Mostert, you have John U. Smith to be a blocker, almost as if this was a, a some kind of bubble screen. It's done really well. McDaniel in Miami did a play similar to this last year against Carolina where instead of it being set up like this, they actually sent the tight end in an motion to set it up. It's, again, it's great. But the focus of this play is the absolute beauty of a throw by Tua to River Craycraft, who's going to do a fade route towards that back corner. This ball is thrown with great anticipation, drawing this like good old the QB school. And yet, great anticipation on this throw. Tua throws this while Craycraft still hasn't beat the corner, but he has trusted he's going to, and he does. Balls place perfectly, and this, and this is the game-winning touchdown as Miami took the lead and never looked back. Well, there you have it. All five of the passes to a through in preseason week two against the Washington Commanders. I really like what I saw. I'm excited to see more next week against Tampa Bay. And I'm also excited for the season to finally start. If you are new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And comment down below kind of just anything you would want. Maybe a suggestion for any other quarterbacks you would like to see me break, uh, kind of a yeah, yeah, breakdown or a review for this preseason. Any suggestion is that would be any suggestion is appreciated. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Have yourselves a damn good one. Peace.